Hi Sagittarius, this is Jackie Tomlin. This is your general reading. This is for the week of October 18th, 2021. Thank you guys for stopping by. Don't forget JackieTomlin.com for psychic readings and you'll find a link to that below this video. Also, the 18th is the last day of the retro. It does take a couple days to kind of shake the ick of that off. Um, this coming week, it is telling you to get the rest that you need while you need it. Okay, uh, for some of you, there's a lot of scattered energy. You may be planning a trip out of state. Um, there will be secrets rebuilt, uh, revealed to you. There's some news coming in. It's not what you were anticipating. There is some uh, intensity in the love life. You are moving forward. You do get what you want, but I don't think it comes in the form that you're expecting. Okay. For some of you, it's music, either the, you know, live music or maybe some lyrics, something getting lost in the um, music. There is some kind of justice in your favor. Someone in a uniform could play a role in your life this week as well. Could be military, could be an officer, could be a firefighter, anything like that. Okay, so Sagittarius, let's see what we have. This is your week of the 18th, starting with the Six of Pentacles. Something is coming in to restore your financial balance, okay? You might not feel it right here in the week of the 18th, but by the end of the month, you're actually going to be able to help someone else out financially. There is the card of the unknowing. We will clarify that for you. On the Three of Cups, the Three of Cups comes in with an unexpected celebration. Three or more people, and I do want to throw out the word unexpected. And we have the King of Pentacles coming in with the Gemini energy. Um, this is also indicating uh, financial stability at the highest level. So, center of the reading, we have the Six of Wands. Total victory, complete success. Uh, for some of you, you are surrounded by people that you are not normally surrounded by. And for some of you, you have an audience. Okay? But it is victory and success with the power of the chariot now the chariot is energy that rushes in this does say you get everything you want and desire and it comes when you least expect it we have the eight of cups and the eight of cups says there's something there in the past that no longer serves a purpose you are walking away from it you are closing the door on it you are open the door to new opportunities so there's something you're leaving behind and something you're moving towards we have the Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles is coming in this week with two blessings, okay? One spiritual and one financial. But overall, counting your blessings, we have the Nine of Wands. There's that scattered energy I spoke about at the beginning of the video. This is that um, feeling anxious, feeling excited, feeling overwhelmed, feeling a lot of feelings rolled all into one, okay? Okay. Now, let's go a little bit further with these messages, and we're going to start up top with that Six of Pentacles. All right, I'm a Sagittarius. On the Six of Pentacles, we have the Page of Pentacles. Could resonate as a Capricorn energy. This is someone coming in uh, with an offer of help or perhaps a good business deal. Now, on that unknowing, you have, there it is, King of Cups, what I call the King of Love, an unexpected offer of love. And for some of you, it could be a Cancer that resonates there. On the Three of Cups, I have the Ten of Wands. Love the Ten of Wands. This is what you're celebrating. This is, you have overcome. You have gathered your obstacles. You push them to the side. You're creating a new path. You're creating a better path, and you're creating the right path. On the King of Pentacles, we have the Eight of Swords, and the Eight of Swords is the card of self-imposed restrictions, saying no one is holding yourself back but you. On the Six of Wands, we have the Star Energy, and the Star is Wish Fulfillment. However, it does indicate delays, that any delays that occur the week of the 18th are actually in your favor. On the chariot, we have the Knight of Swords. This is something that has come rushing in. And don't forget, you also have the rushing in of the chariot. So fast-paced, quick-moving week. Uh, getting a lot done. Very high, high energy. What is rushing in for my Sagittarius? It's the Ten of Swords. 
letting someone from the past go. Now, the irony of that, first of all, you have two tens, the Ten of Wands and Ten of Swords. Two tens indicate the beginning stages of a new beginning. But where I'm saying you're letting go of someone from the past or someone there that's done you wrong and you're letting go of that energy comes on the Eight of Cups of walking away from something in your past and moving towards something else. Uh, for a lot of you, I'm going to throw it out there. I think it's in the love life. Something has run its course. It's time to move forward. Now, on the Five of Pentacles, we have the Three of Swords. Okay? Three's a crowd. Third-party situation. Be warned of it, particularly in the love life. Someone is trying to put their nose in your business. It's third-party unwanted advice and or opinions. And on the Nine of Wands, look at there, guys. You've got the Magician. Okay? And the Magician, of course, is the highest card in the deck that says you get everything you want and desire. And, you know, it's all on the table before you. You have the Magician and the Chariot, one above the other. And your center of the card bonus is the Hain Man. And the hey man says, you may be feeling a little stuck. You may be feeling like you're not moving forward. You're not moving backwards. There's no movement. That's not the case. It's asking you to be still because clarity and confirmation of what you need comes to you when you're still. But overall, you're sitting here with the magician in the chariot says it's saying you get everything you want and desire. Thank you guys for watching. JackieTomlin.com for psychic readings. And I'll see you soon. Bye.